Whitcomb and Ford get tangled up. And Spence has the puck. Up to Burgess. It's a two on one. Whitcomb and Bourgeois. Whitcomb, weak shot. Quick stop by Ryan Noble. Puck goes in the corner. Now Berg Bourgeois out front. Shot right on by Whitcomb. Ryan Noble saw that all the way. So a shout out to our seniors tonight that have come down to the rink. Boys are playing this game for you. We invite you to come down. I believe it's $5 to get in. If you can't, we appreciate you joining us on YouTube now. Nick Lowland to face off to the left in the Navigator zone. Navigators gather it up. Shellac working in behind. Try to centering pass, but Burgess is able to gather it up. To Jared and Lowen, he just dumps it in behind the Navigator's net. Now here's Noski working a pass, trying to get it to Ford for the Navigators. He chips it around the player. Burgess is there, number 12 for the Fort St. John, dumps it in. Now the Navigators are starting back out. Ferguson, pass is broken up. It's Kimmy, number 13 for the Huskies, just dodged a big hit along the boards as he chases the puck in. Nick Lowen takes some banging back. Kimmy's got it again. Trying to work some magic with Niles Nemec. Back to the point. Shots tipped wide of the net. Niles Nemec with the big wrap around. And it gets bumped. Back to Kindred at the point. Just barely holds it in. It's knocked down by the Navigators in front. And it looks like we have a penalty to number 13, Logan Kimmy. He'll head to the box. Two minutes for the high stick. Okay, so the North Peace Navigators will go on the power play. It'll be a five on four for the next two minutes. 17 minutes, 34 seconds. And the clock has just messed up. <laughs> the clock is showing 71 minutes and 40 seconds. And the linesmen are pointing, the ref is pointing. Now we're back to 17.40 to go in the first period. Three shots on goal for Fort St. John as they go on the penalty kill. All right, Bourgeois lost the draw, but it's out. He chases it down. Chamberlain, Bourgeois working over Chamberlain pretty good there in the corner. To keep the puck in, the Navigators try and reset. Here's Cunningham, he gains across the blue line. Cross center, makes a move. The centering pass is broken up. Navigators now deep in the corners. The Huskies try and set up in their four-man box. Spence working the near side. Navigators centering pass, tipped by McMullen and he gives chase. Puck's dumped in offside. And the Huskies clear for a line change. Navigators gather the puck up again. Here's Cunningham in behind his own net. He, he chips it up to Belarus. Nemo's chasing Cunningham into the corner. Now the Navigators trying to get reset, trying to get something going on this power play. Nemo chases the puck. Now Lowen has the puck and we have an offside call for the North Peace Navigators. So they'll change up their penalty killers, or power play for the North Peace Navigators. They'll, they'll change up. And we've got 55 seconds left in the penalty to Logan Kimmy. Ford across to Dumas. Dumas now for the Navigators. Yeah. Navigators try and get a weak shot. Oscar Burgess was able to bank it off the bo off the glass all the way down. Ryan Noble rings the puck hard around. All the way down into the Husky zone as Bourgeois is back to get it. Bourgeois across to Lowen. Nemix there gives a bump, but the Navigators have it. In the corner is Ford with the puck. Looking for, looking for a man. Navigators now. In behind the net on the near side. The Huskies get it, but he can't clear it out. Here's Noski now. He holds it in. 
Huskies chip it out. Right to Logan Kimmy coming out of the box, but he couldn't quite put the moves on. We have a high stick by Kindrat. And the Navigators will gather up the puck. Starting out now. Noski tried a lead pass to Ferguson. Of wasn't happening. Now uh, the ref is calling a high sticking penalty, it looks like. A number 23, Isaac. Cole Isaac. So the Huskies managed to kill off that a man advantage without allowing a goal. So 15, 16 left to go in the game, 0-0. Zero, zero. Shots on goal are three for Fort St. John, one for the North Peace Navigators. So we'll get set to take the face off down in the Navigator's zone. And it looks like it'll be Dylan Belrose against the Huskies. Number 22, Alex Nemo. So Alex Nemo set to take the draw. It's back to five on, uh, it'll be five on four hockey for the Fort St. John Huskies. Cross ice pass goes out. Lowen gathers it up. Marcuso tried to cross pass to Lowen. Didn't quite get through, but now he's got it again. It's a three on one. Lowen cross to Lowen. Oh, what a save by Ryan Noble. Just got a piece of a wide open net and the Navigators clear it all the way down the ice. In behind the net now is Marcuso for Fort St. John, trying to get set up on this power play. He skates up, drop pass to Jared Lowen. He skates in, skates in deep in the far side. Quick pass back across to Kindrat. Over to Marcuso, a shot and gloved down by Ryan Noble. So we've got one minute and 16 seconds left in the man advantage for the Fort St. John Huskies. The North Peace Navigators are now change up on their penalty killers. So there's four out there now. Set to take the draw is Chamberlain. Huskies win the draw. Shot from the point, didn't get through. Now there's Marcuso. Kindrat to the front of the net, to the side of the net. Chip pass didn't quite get through. Jared Lowen tries to tries to get it through but it doesn't Chamberlain he's battling hard as Kindrat starts away with the puck he gains across the blue line tries a lead pass to Marcuso navigators gather it up slap it all the way down the ice now it's Jared and Lowen bank pass across to Gary Lowen dipsy doodles up to Marcuso Marcuso hit and he crashes in the boards Gary Lowen still got the puck carries it in behind the net wrap around in front and he bangs away, but Ryan Noble's got the puck and he covers up for a face-off. So we've got a line change now for the forwards. It'll be Winkle with Nick Lowen and Dean Whitcomb. The power play unit for Fort St. John, 30 seconds left to go. Navigators win the draw in behind their net. Fawcett's in there banging and crashing. Whitcomb's in there, three Huskies. Jared and Lowen, oh, a centering pass to Whitcomb, and he couldn't gather it up. Now, start, starts away. Puck's dumped all the way down. Spence now rings it around the boards. Cross ice pass to Whitcomb. He crosses the line, but it's called offside. Gary Lowen drug his foot as far back as he could, but he couldn't quite stay on side. So both teams will change now as we get set to go. Puck uh, faceoff will be just outside the navigator zone. Whitcomb to take the draw against Ferguson. Huskies dump the puck in deep and chase it down. Number 15, Burgess in there, but he can't get anything going. Navigators dump it down. Oh man, no call. The entire gate Navigators team wanted a call on that one, but we didn't get it. Puck comes all the way back down in the Navigators zone, and it's chipped deep in Fort St. John's zone. Oscar Burgess back, 
Brings it around the boards. Tigert left it, but it comes back to the point. Navigators hold it in. Burgess now with the puck. Dumps it back. Whitcomb's there. He gathers, has a look. Back in behind the net to Tigert. In behind to Burgess. Cross to Whitcomb. He chips it around. Shellac dipsy doodles with it. And the puck goes high. No call. Referees still say it's in play. Here's Noski. Gains the line. He's still got the puck. Around. Gets a shot away. Got around Whitcomb. Whitcomb turns in behind his own net and has a look. Oh, he's being harassed there big time by Isaac. The Navigators are doing a, quite a bit of harassment to the Huskies right now. It can't seem to get a, anything going. Here's Dumas with a big stretch pass to Chamberlain. Across to Dawson. Sorry, uh, Briscoe there, number 27 for the Navigators. Some banging and crashing as, as Caden Fournette finally gets the puck and Tigert's giving some guys some rough stuff right here underneath the broadcast booth. There's McMullen across to Kindrad. He shoots it hard, but it hits the Navigators player. Just goes in, long stretch pass for the Navigators. Kindrat gathers the puck, trying to reset things and get things going here. Jaredin, hard pass up to Dawson Phillips. It bounces all the way back into the Husky zone. There's Kindrat now gaining some speed across the line. Cuts to the middle, shot way over top of the goal. As Dawson Phillips banging and crashing behind that. Kindrat out front and a shot from the point by Caden Frenette. Didn't get through. McMullen now at the point. Kindrat, boom, big slapper hit McMullen, hit, hit uh, Jared Lowen in the back. Here's Lowen in along the far side. Centering pass to Lowen, shot wide of the goal. The puck circles around. There's Nick Lowen. The puck goes high and drops down to Caden Frenette. Finally, the Navigators get it out. Belarus across to Briscoe. Huskies get it again. There's Dawson Phillips. He dumps it in. And Peters gathers the puck. Oh, he turned it over behind the net. Oh, and the pass couldn't quite get out. Fournette couldn't quite get the puck away. Here's Paul now. He dumps the puck in. MacArthur will handle it behind the net. Oh, a little bit. Trouble there. He has to backhand it to Oscar Burgess, and he missed the pass. Paul now in front of the goal. Navigators, all kinds of pressure. Shot from the point, doesn't get through. Huskies are piled up in front. And here comes Logan Kemi away. A two on two with Niles Nemec. Shot goes high and over top of the goal. Nick Lowen trying to hold the puck in at the side, but he can't. Cunningham giving some pressure. There, and Jared and Lowen shot the puck and almost hit his coach in the head. Not sure what he'll have to say about that later. Okay, so the Navigators are back in, trying a bit of a breakout pass here. Up to Ford for the Navigators. Tegan rubs him out on the play, but then lost the puck. Here's Ford, dipsy doodling. All to the far side, cross ice pass. Couldn't quite get through to Ferguson. Back to the point to Noski. Noski chips away, but Huskies come away with it. Nemo now to the far side. Tries a between the legs pass and couldn't get through. Nemo's got it behind the net. Works his way out front, shot and it hits something in front and tipped away. There's Nemec now on the near side. He's got the puck, tries the centering pass but it doesn't quite get through. And the puck just comes outside the navigator zone. Marcuso now, oh he drops over the line. Tries to get through but he gets rubbed out by Ford. Puck rings around, quick shot from Lowen. Now here comes Ford for the Navigators. He crashes into Tigert. They've had a thing going all night. Now here's Gary Lowen coming down the far side. Shot. Oh, it just hit something and tinged off the post or off a glove. Now here's Gary Lowen again. Circles around to the far side. Centering pass. Noble makes the save. Navigators dump it all the way down the ice. And icing's been waved off. MacArthur to Kindrat. Kindrat now has got the puck. He shoots it hard. Bank pass, Marcuso just got a piece of it. Okay, so across to Dumas and two Navigators collided against Kendrat. Navigators have the puck now deep in the zone. Isaac dumps it in. Kendrat bumps his man. Kendrat starts away in front of his own net. Near side pass to Marcuso. It's a two on two. 
with Winkle, centering pass. Didn't quite get through. Navigators knock it down and they come back the other way. Number 27, Briscoe coming in and it's just tipped into the zone by Isaac. But Jared and Lowen now, the captain for the Fort St. John Huskies starts away with the puck. Here he comes, near side pass to Whitcomb just out of his reach, the Navigators send the puck back in. Burgess now number 12, chips the puck off the boards, it's intercepted by Paul. Navigators start away with it now. Dumas across to Paul. The Navigators need to get going the other way. Here we go, Paul on the near side. Puck is in behind the net. MacArthur had a look, but then he gave it to Jared and Lowen. And a, tried a long Hail Mary pass there. Jared in to try and get something going. Plays a bit scrambly right now. And here we've got Burgess now. Across to Jared and Lowen, looking for Whitcomb. Bourgeois tipped the puck up into the netting and the Huskies will change their forwards and their defense. So the Huskies have a respectable 24 and four record. They sit first place atop the Northwest Junior Hockey League Championship. The Navigators are third with a respectable 18 and 12 record. All right, now we're underway. Huskies have the puck now. McMullen lost the puck in front of his own net. Tigert's trying to gather it up as the Huskies having trouble getting going. Here's Caden Fernet now. It's a three on two. Fernet, Phillips, McMullen. Phillips fired wide. Navigators coming back. Chip pass ahead. And that will be icing. So Spence is back to gather the puck. A little bit of rough stuff there with the Navigators number 19, Loken Willis. So the faceoff will be to the right of North Peace Navigators goaltender Ryan Noble, and it will be Mc McMullen. Lost the draw, the Navigators win the draw and they start in. Navigators have the puck, Ford centering pass. Kendra, Dipsy Doodles turns in behind the net. Ferguson was there to have a chat with him. Here we go, Dawson Phillips now. Along this side, the puck's chipped away by Peters, he fell. Navigators come out, almost a three on two. Looked like an offside. Kendra gives him a rub as he leaves the zone just for fun. Wrap around by the Navigators in behind and we have a penalty to Fort St. John for the slash. So number 18, Fort St. John, Caden Fernet will head to the box for two minutes for slashing. We had a really close call as the Navigators player wrapped around the net and MacArthur, who's been stellar so far in stopping seven shots he's faced, was there for the task, making a great save. So it'll be Mac McMullen against the Navigators Bellaros. Navigators win the draw, they've got it. Centering pass in front. Oh, just about made that centering pass count. Was well, number 12 Fawcett for the Port North Peace Navigators. Here we go now, Cunningham, he starts up. Near side pass to Bellaros. Logan Kemi was there and he just took an elbow to the back of the head by Number four, Shellac, and I'm sure that there'll be more to follow on that, so we'll keep you posted on what happens through there. It was a vicious elbow to the head. Here's Navigators 26, Cunningham starts away with the puck. He's got it in behind the net. Here's Niles Nemec, a one on three, chips the puck, heads in along the boards. Penalty killing is doing a good job of penalty killing was Niles Nemec. So the Navigators start out of their own zone and they chip the puck in. Oh! Huskies. Alex Nemo fanned on the shot. Now here's Burgess, Bourgeois, sorry, number 15 for the Huskies with a two on two. He's got the puck in behind the net. Doing some good penalty killing work there. Running the clock out. 
Belarus comes down, centering pass all alone in front. MacArthur makes a huge save. Off of Willis, Navigators get a chance. Now here's Noski at the point. He tries to chip it back to Belarus. Back to Noski again. Nemec tries to clear the puck out, but he can't. McMullen trying to hold it in. Willis now at the near side. Bourgeois, he takes a hit in the corner. Teams are at even strength. Caden Frenette heads for the bench. Marcuso's got the puck. He gets the puck out. McMullen chases it down against number 21 of the Navigators. Dumas Kendrick now with the Fort Saint, for Fort St. John. He has the puck. He goes back across to Aiden Tigert. He can't get the puck out. Marcuso's banging and crashing. Finally, not, uh, Nemo picks the puck up and lifts it over the Navigator player down, all the way down the ice. Huskies have to tag up here. Marcuso, Lowen heads in. Gary Lowen fell down in behind the play. Now here's Ferguson for the Navigators. Tries to get something going. Centering pass out front by the Navigators. In behind the goal is Ferguson now. Fort St. John clears it just out over the line. So the Navigators will have to reset as Connor Kindrat gathers the puck behind. He's having a look, and he rings it off the glass down to Gary Lowen. Centering pass just behind Nemo. He couldn't get a piece of it. Here we go. Gary Lowen gets a shot away as teams are at even strength. Two minutes and four seconds left to play in the first period. Marcuso took a slash, and he's shaking his hand. The Navigators have a two-on-one. Oh, and MacArthur stretched out, made a beautiful pad save for Fort St. John. Navigators get another shot. Back to the blue line. North Peace Navigators have the puck now behind the net, giving the Huskies a little bit of scramble in their own end right now. Burgess bumping hard with Isaac. Across to Ford. Sorry, that was across to Shellac. The puck's ringed around, and here's Gary Lawn. Chip pass up the number eight, Whitcomb. He's got Burgess with him. It's a two on three, and they crash and bang in behind. Whitcomb still chasing that puck, doing a good job. Lots of hard work in there by Whitcomb. He's got the puck now behind the net. Bangs, and boys get their sticks up, and the ref signals a cross-checking penalty to number four, Shellac. And maybe that's a little bit of karma for the elbow that he gave earlier in the game. Karma will always find you, and that might have been the play. So he heads to the box. One minute left to play in the first period. Shots for St. John, eight. North Peace Navigators, six. So the faceoff will be now to the right of Ryan Noble. Whitcomb will take the draw against Belarus. And Whitcomb wins the draw. Tries to dipsy doodle at the line. He does hold it in finally. Whitcomb in behind. Navigators gather it up and they'll shoot it all the way down the ice. MacArthur gathers it up and gives it to Spence. Now Spence in behind his net. He gave it away. But the clock had run out to end. Oh, the clock didn't run out. I thought the clock ran out. And this broadcaster's heart stopped the beat as Spence gave it away to the Navigators player right in front, but he was on the ball. And now it'll be a, it looks like it'll be a five on three for Fort St. John, 42.6 seconds left. And even the gentlemen in the booth next to me are scratching their heads wondering what was going on. And there's uh, Nemo, Wins the draw, Fort St. John's Marcuso, he has a look, chips it in. Gary Lowen in, dumps the puck in behind the net. Back to the point for Marcuso. Marcuso across to Jared Lowen, down to Gary Lowen. Oh, centering pass, couldn't quite get through. As Nemo lost the puck to Navigators, they dump it down the ice. MacArthur for the hurry up pass. Up to Jared Lowen, to Nemo, he chips it in. And Ryan Noble will cover the puck. 
So we've got 12.3 seconds left. Fort St. John is a five on three against North Peace Navigators. 12.3 seconds left. One minute and 12 seconds in one penalty. One minute and 29 seconds. So it'll be Nemo to take the draw for Fort St. John. Navigators win the draw. Pucks ringed around to Marcuso on the far side. Low and on the near side, he gets a shot. And Ryan Noble hangs on to the puck wisely with 3.2 seconds left. So the Huskies are setting up. They're having a bit of a discussion right now. On a, it looks like a set play, and we'll see if some magic can happen here as Nemo, Nemo wins the draw. Cross alone, he shoots, it's crashing and banging in front. But Ryan Noble stands his ground and we and keeps his score scoreless. So we have a 0-0 game, shots 11 to six, Fort St. John. And we're just going into the first intermission. Thanks for joining us.
the North Peace Arena between the Fort St. John Huskies and the North Peace Navigators. We're getting set to start the second period with the score, Fort St. John zero, North Peace Navigators zero. So far the shots have been 11 for the Huskies and six for the Navigators. And Fort St. John will start on the power play. Five on three for a minute and 17 seconds and then one minute or seven, then we'll have 17 seconds of five on four. Quite a few shots, Great, couple of great saves by Ryan Noble for the North Peace Navigators and some really good goaltending from Huskies goaltender Tyler MacArthur. So we're get, uh, getting set here as the teams have switched ends as they normally do. Lost you've been hiding under a rock and never watched a hockey game in your life. Briscoe will face off for the Navigators against a Nemo. Huskies get the puck in deep. Nemo chases it around, he loses it back to the point to Marcuso. Marcuso now does this swippity swap with Jared Lowen. Marcuso takes the shot. Noble gloves it, side of the net, the puck is loose. And we got a quick whistle. The puck was still loose. I could see it all the way from up here in the broadcast booth. We got a whistle from the referee who was standing right there. So I'm not sure if the net was off or what the situation was, but the face off will now be deep in the navigator's zone. Nemo again with face off against Briscoe. Nemo won the draw. Back Gary Lowe to Marcuso. Marcuso across to Jared on the far side. Gary having a look. Across to Marcuso, he lost the pass. Puck goes out all the way down. Jared Lowen back to gather it up to Marcuso. Back to Lowen, he takes it in. Drops it for Kindrat. Kindrat down to Jared Lowen. Kindrat now to Marcuso, back to Kindrat. Keeping it high, trying to set it up. Deep pass, Nemo cuts out in front. His shot was stopped by Ryan Noble. Now Nemo's got the puck in behind the net. He drops it, penalty's almost over. MacArthur banging his stick. Now we're into five on four. Gary Lowen takes a shot, it hits the Navigators player and bounces out. Marcuso chases it down, back across, up to Kindrat. And there's an offside call. Fort St. John, Huskies offside. So the faceoff will be outside the Navigator's zone. As we get said here, just three seconds left to Fawcett of the Navigators. Whitcomb now set to take the draw against Belrose. Oh, now they switch out to Isaac. Isaac to Whitcomb. Old oh, puck goes deep down the navigator zone. A Hill Mary pass to the Navigators. Fawcett. And Fawcett knocked it down and it bounced over to number seven, Belrose. And the ref is whistling down a hand pass. Well, that's why we have refs, to catch little stuff like that. And that's all right. So the, the, the face-off will come back down just outside the navigator zone. Whitcomb here to take the face off against Belrose of the Navigators. As they get set now, Whitcomb wins the draw. Back to Jared and Lowen. Jared and Lowen across to Oscar Burgess. Up to Winkle. Back to Whitcomb. Gets the far side. And Burgess was offside just a little bit on that call. This correction, Bourgeois was a little bit. Number 15 for the Huskies. Little stride ahead. So the faceoff will be right in front of the Huskies bench now. Whitcomb again against Belrose. Here we go. And the Navigators win the draw back to their own end. We pick it up, Fawcett now. Ooh, big bump with Whitcomb and Belrose. Bourgeois takes the shot, Ryan Noble steered that clear. Navigators get it out of their own end. Now here's no number 20, Paul for the Navigators, took the puck in. Now it's gathered up by the Huskies. Winkle has the puck now, tries to chip it across. But Chaston Paul gets the puck. Navigators dump it in. 
MacArthur stops it for Jared and Lowen in behind the net. Oh, he's hit hard by 22 Cunningham. Center, he centers it right on a shot. Navigators hit the post. MacArthur's made a save. And Belrose and Whitcomb were having what looked like a MMA match in front of Tyler MacArthur. They had sticks wrapped up and wrestling and my goodness. All right, so the Huskies have the draw on their own end. They get the puck across to Logan Kemi. He's going Spence. Oh, he centered it for Niles Nemec. He couldn't get it, and the Navigators get the puck out. Tigert now. Te Tigert across to Logan Kemi. He dumps the puck down. Ryan Noble's there. He shoots it to the boards and banks it out. Navigators number, number eight, Ford. Crosses the center line, gains the line. Tigert, ooh, just lined him up and he dodged that. Navigators carry the puck in deeper. The Huskies have it now. Niles nemix has got the puck, trying to get it out. Having some trouble. Now he's got it. Here we go. Two on one. And, oh, Logan Kimmy stretched out like a shortstop to stay on side, but he couldn't do it. So now the Huskies will change up as will the navigators and fresh skaters will come out so it looks like it'll be Tigert against Briscoe Mc McMullen Tigert McMullen won the draw navigators dumped the puck in neat couple of 23s chase after it Jared Lowen and Cunningham chase out with it Tegan McMullen starts away with it it's a three on two now Dawson Phillips just gains the blue line, dumps it in. McMullen now behind the net. He lost the puck. Navigators gather it up. Centering pass. Kendrat's there. Oh, he lost the puck to Chamberlain. Chamberlain down the side. But Kendrat comes back and rides him hard into the boards. Caden Frenette now starts out with the puck. Tried to cross ice pass to Dawson Phillips that didn't get through. And now the Huskies have it in their own end. Breaking out, Connor Kindrat to Caden Fournette. He'll dump the puck in. Dawson Phillips chases it around. Behind the puck, couldn't quite get it. And back is Jared and Lowen to pick up the puck. Jared and Lowen now starts from his own end, gains the line, lead pass to Caden Fournette. Couldn't knock it down, it goes all the way down for icing. So the faceoff will go all the way back down to the Fort St. John end. 15 minutes, 45 seconds left to play. In the second period, the shots are 15 Fort St. John, eight for the North Peace Navigators. So here we are now, Cunningham facing off against, uh, pardon, Alex Nemo. Shot just goes high by the Navigators over top of Tyler MacArthur. Cunningham for the Navigators now. Tries to dump the puck in neat and it's gathered up by Oscar Burgess. Tries a pass to Caden Fournette. He dumps the puck back in his own end and goes for a change. Burgess against Cunningham in the down deep in the Husky zone as Jared and Lowen starts out with the puck. Strong on the puck. Chips the puck over and gets knocked down by the Navigators number seven, Belrose. And Alex Nemo chips the puck over, shoots the puck over top of the net. Now the Navigators have the puck starting out of their own zone. Chris crossing across. Gary Lowen just dodged a check from Cheston Paul and he's hurt as he struggles to the bench there he's not sure what rink he's playing in right now oh breakaway pass for Ferguson shot scored Ferguson broke in from the blue line on a broken pass and shot the puck high blocker on Tyler MacArthur and the North Peace Navigators have gone up one to nothing. 14 minutes and 40 seconds left to play in the second period as we'll face off now against center, at center ice. Ref getting set now to drop the puck. It'll be Ferguson against Whitcomb. Whitcomb lost the draw but it got picked up by Willis. MacArthur Centering pass from the Navigators back to the point. A shot, it's tipped wide by, by Huskies' Joel Bourgeois. 
Now in behind the net is Jared Lowen. Takes his man hard to the boards. Centering pass out front. Stopped easily by MacArthur. Connor Kindrat now across the line. It's a three on two. Drops it for Winkle, number 17 on the near side. <laughs> number 18, Whitcomb. He just dumps the puck in. As Winkle holds the line. In behind the net to Joel Burgess. He dodges a check. Still got the puck. Dumps it in. In behind the net. Winkle out front. Whitcomb spun. Couldn't get the puck. Gary Lowen comes around out front. Hits Ryan Noble with the puck. <coughs> Whitcomb and Peters get tied up. The Navigators try and get out. Managed to get the puck across and Gary Lowen's got the puck right at the blue line waiting for Winkle to tag up. Ooh, Gary Lowen takes a hard shot and misses the net. Burgess. Huskies defenseman holds it in the line. The Navigators, in frustration, clear the puck down the ice. I well, we appreciate you joining our broadcast tonight from Fort St. John. A little break in the weather. See a few fans have come in for the second period, which is great to come out and cheer on your local Huskies and see some fantastic hockey as the Huskies wind up their regular season and get set for the playoffs. So here's Nick Lowen, inside of the net, back to Spence. His shot, it's tipped wide of the goal. Rings around, Tigard holds it in. Centering pass blocked by the Navigators in front. Nick Lowen has the puck now, looking for Spence. The point, can't do it. Centering pass to Niles Nemec, he shot. It hit something and trickled to the net. Navigators having trouble clearing it. Back to Spence at the point. He has a look, hits a shin pad of a Navigators player Ford and the puck still held in Niles Nemec at the line to Logan Kemi shot goes high over hits the glass stays in Tigert's got it now and it gets by him and down the ice Spence from just across the red line takes a shot right on and the navigators clear it all the way down Spence gathers it chips it for Nemec he makes a dipsy doodle move at the red line and gains the line. Weak backhander on goal. Ryan Noble saw that. And Fawcett will clear the puck all the way down the ice. So the faceoff will be all the way back down in the Navigators' end. And the Huskies had a tremendous amount of pressure there. As they cycled, they were able to cycle players off the bench into that rotation. And the Navigators having some trouble getting their change happening as it's a long change the team is switching ends now the puck's deep in the navigator zone Phillips has the puck he lost it behind the net now navigators try and get something going a little offside call I thought from up in the broadcast booth but the refs didn't so the puck goes deep in behind the Huskies net it looks like Nick Lowen in there with Tegan McMullen, the Navigators get the puck, tries to center it back to the point. Bouncing puck back to Ferguson, he gets a shot right on. Steered aside by MacArthur. Nick Lowen trying to get the puck out. Dawson Phillips tried a centering pass, it's intercepted and the Navigators dump the puck in, they'll go for a change. Belrose chases the puck down. Nick Lowen now centers the puck in a breakout to McMullen, to Fernet. Looking for Phillips. Phillips gains the zone, and but he's offside. So the Huskies will tag up, calling for a line change. The Navigators will start out on this side. Up to number 20, Paul. Back to Cunningham, he takes a shot. MacArthur makes that save, slides to his post on the near side. <coughs> Marcuso has the puck now. He comes across to Gary Lowen. Gary Lowen, a little slow to go into the zone, but he dips, he doodles, and gets a weak shot on Nemo tried to tip it out of the air, but he couldn't. Gary working hard in behind the net. <clears throat> Marcuso, Huskies top line out there now. Burgess holds it in, gets tangled in his feet. Marcuso on the far side with Gary Lowen, centering pass, knocked down. Back to Jared and he keeps the puck in or tries to. And the Navigators dump the puck all the way down the ice. 
There's an icing arm up in the air, but they wave it off. So back behind the Huskies net is Oscar Burgess to start out with the puck. Falling down in front of us was Lachlan Willis, but he got the puck. Somehow he fell down, got up, and intercepted that pass, and the Huskies' breakout was foiled. So here we go. <clears throat> Across to Marcuso. Chris crosses with Nemo. Gets in the line. Some of the fans wanted a hooking call. Centering pass! Gary! Gary Lowen from a few feet in front of Ryan Noble puts it home and the Huskies have tied the game. Nine minutes and 37 seconds left to play in the third period. We have a tied game. And you know it had to happen. It had to happen. There was enough pressure and enough pressure. You work hard enough. You get enough shots on goal. They will go in. It happens. Briscoe to take the draw against Whitcomb. Back to Spence. Spence dumps it in. Bourgeois, number 15, spins off his man in the corner. Whitcomb now number eight with the puck. He's got it, being pinned up against the boards by Dumas. Navigator's struggling to get it out now as Fawcett finally gets the puck out of the zone. It's back to Tigard. He dumps the puck right on goal. And Spence now has the puck at the red line. He dumps it in, so there'll be no icing call. Bourgeois sends Chase after it. Tiger gets the puck, shoots it right down, right into the chest of Shellac. Took the puck right into his chest pads. Whitcomb, Dipsy, Doodles. Again, he's got the puck. Two great saves by Ryan Noble. He tries to clear the puck out. Number 23, Cole Isaac. Chipped the puck all the way down the ice to relieve some pressure. So now the Huskies will change. They'll send out Nimick, Logan, and Nick Lowen up front with Jared Lowen and Connor Kindrat on the D. Navigators get the puck out and hits Logan Willis and goes down the ice. Big hit by Isaac on Kindrat. He skates to the bench. And out will come Jared and Lowen. Cunningham in front. Oh, and a great stop by Tyler MacArthur. Here's Fawcett now. He got the puck. Lost it to Jared and Lowen. Got it back again. Jared, Jared and Lowen losing it. In comes the point. Comes Belrose. Belrose back up to the trailer. Peters. Peters takes the puck in deep. Tries to cycle it down. But he lost the puck. And here come the Huskies. Dawson Phillips banks the puck off the boards to a streaking Nemec. And we have a call from the referee. And oh, I'm mistaken. It's not going to be a penalty. It looks like it was just an icing call. So the puck will come all the way back down. It'll be Cunningham against Nick Lowen. Nick wins the draw. Logan Kimmy in the far side corner deep in the Husky zone. He gets it to Jared Lowen. Jared Lowen now gathers some speed. Comes out. Dumps the puck in. All the way down, but he wasn't across center. So we have another icing call. We've got more icing in this game, it seems like. Than a two-year-old's birthday party. Some of it's because the Navigators are getting a lot of pressure from the Huskies. Without a doubt. Nick Lowen. Now we've won the draw. Now he's got Niles Nemec in a two-on-two -two with Logan Kimmy. Logan Kimmy streaking to the net. But the pass couldn't get through. Nemec goes for a change. As Paul runs his man into the boards. Up to Cunningham. Across to Belrose. He's tripped up at the line. The puck goes all the way back to Shellac. Shellac just dumps it in. MacArthur stops it behind the net. Now and Spence has the puck. He looks down the ice for Dawson Phillips. He was tied up. And Ford dumps the puck in, but he was on the wrong side of center. The puck goes out of play. So the linesman will grab another puck. We've played with that one enough. Let's start playing with another puck. 
So it'll be McBullen against Ferguson. Take the draw just outside the navigator zone. Play is underway. Spence has the draw. He puts it down, but it's knocked down by Fawcett. And here we've got a two on two. Broken up by Spence. He backhands it to Caden Fournette, who narrowly dodged a check in front of the navigator's bench. Now there's Ford. He comes across into this Husky zone to Spence, to Fournette. Fournette dumps it all the way down in. Ooh, big hard hit by Fournette on Peters to run his man into the boards. Now here's Ford for the North Peace Navigator. Coming in, he takes a shot, goes into the legs of Jared and Lowen, but the puck comes back to the point. Well, the play's a bit scrambling now as Jared and Lowen gets it over to Teagart. <clears throat> Teagart spins away from two navigators, but couldn't keep the puck. Well, they've lost it. Navigators take a shot. MacArthur makes a good save. The Huskies try and chip it out. Dawson Phillips, puck up by him. But Jared and Lowen's got the puck. Two on two with Caden Fournette. Shot goes over top of the goal, all the way around. Chips, but it lands right to Nemo to Gary Lowen. Gary gets a shot, he gets another shot. Centering pass, just hit a skate. Gary Lowen's had three shots. Oscar Burgess gets a shot. Hits Ryan Noble in the chest. Navigators try and clear it. Gary Lowen moves up the line. Tries to go cross ice to Marcuso. It's intercepted and the Navigators. Cole Ford will jump, dump it down the ice. It's gathered up in behind by Jared and Lowen. Stretched past to Gary. Right at the blue line, the puck jumps off his stick. Puck goes all the way back down. It'll be icing on the North Peace Navigators. So Gary Lowen had three or four shots. Fantastic chances. But the Huskies just can't find one. But it's not for lack of trying. There's a lot of pressure by the Huskies right now. Good cycling in the zone. Lots of hard work by these young lads. So it's really good to see. Whitcomb wins the draw. Back to Jared, Jared and Lowen. Now Cunning, Isaac starts away with the puck. Briscoe chips the puck in for the Navigators. The Huskies reset. Kindred has the puck, gains, his blue, gains the blue line. Up to Lowen. And Joel Bourgeois was offside. So the faceoff will be outside the navigator zone, right in front of the Huskies bench. And it looks like it'll be Briscoe against Whitcomb. Whitcomb won the draw. Kendrat's got the pump. Some pressure from Isaac. Isaac's in there. Ooh, just missed his man. Jared, Jared Lowen. Now Whitcomb's got the puck. Cross ice pass for Kindrat shot. Ryan Noble makes the save. Jared Lowen back at the point. Shoots the puck wide. Whitcomb's there on the far side. Takes a, a big hit from Fawcett. Winkle now in behind the puck. Chasing it. In behind the net. Chasing the puck. Whitcomb here again. This time he's being rowed out by Peters. Back to Kindrat. Shot didn't get through. Blocked by Chamberlain. There's Nick Lowen to Kindrat, finding some space, shot. Oh, and I don't know how Noble saw that one, but he managed to get some piece of leather on it. Bourgeois now working over his man in the corner as the Navigators come, bank it high off the glass. It's knocked down by the Navigators. They get it, here's a two out pot, potential two on one developing. But the Navigators, Briscoe, Dawson Briscoe, could not get to the puck in time. So the Face off will come back all the way down into the navigator's zone, and it'll be to the right of goaltender Ryan Noble. And Ryan's been outstanding tonight for his team. Marcuso back to Spence. It's knocked down. Slap shot score, Gary Lowen. And Gary Lowen from just inside the blue line. Let that shot go, and it had eyes. And it went high glove side on Ryan Noble. So the Fort St. John Huskies are up two to one. Three minutes and 38 seconds left to play 
in the second period. The Huskies are out shooting the Navigators 31 to 13. The puck's dumped deep into the Husky zone. Gary Lowen now tries to cross, pass across to Marcuso. It's, he couldn't handle it. Tigers holds the puck in. But here's Marcuso. Shot. It's up in the air. Hit Noble and bounced up. And the referee is calling a high stick. So the Huskies will change their forwards. The high stick was the Huskies player, so the faceoff will come outside. It'll be Nick Lowen against Belrose for North Peace Navigators. Dylan Belrose won that. The referee does a good job of pinching off number 24 Peters for the Navigators, which was some of the amusement of some of the fans. Jared and Lowen now. Back in his own zone, pass up to Kimmy. He chips the puck in deep. Navigators have the puck in behind their own net. Nick Lowen, back to Jared and Lowen. Hit Niles Nemec and bounce close to the goal. Logan Kimmy now takes a hit from his man, dumps the puck in. Two Huskies and two Navigators down in that far side. And out comes with Niles Nemec. Nick Lowen gets a shot. Nemec jumped in the air. But it didn't get past Ryan Noble as both teams make changes. So the puck, the faceoff, will be to the left of Ryan Noble. It'll be Nemo to face off against Ferguson. Navigators win the draw into the corner. Shellac hits his man. Puck bounces to Caden Ford. He's trying to get it out. Sorry, Cole Ford. Navigators having some trouble with their breakout right now. So the puck comes up and Jared Lowen held it in at the line, but the Navigators eventually got it out. Connor Kindrat, Chris crossing with Gary Lowen in the defensive zone. Now there's Kindrat, he tries to lose his man. He's getting tangled up, gets some help from Jared Lowen to Nemo, to Marcuso. Breakout pass didn't work out, and in come the Navigators. Cole Ford has it on the far side. He chips the puck, and it just bounces over top of Tyler MacArthur, and it's kept out. Here's Gary Lowen, tries to chip the puck around. Fawcett, he can't do it. It's a 2 on 0 Navigators, oh, and MacArthur! A 2 on 0 he makes a huge blocker save! What a fantastic job by Tyler MacArthur to keep the Huskies up 2-1. to one. Marcuso now has the puck. He dumps it in behind his own net. And there's Jared, Jared Lowen. Up to Marcuso, to Gary Lowen. He chips the puck in. Two Navigators on him, and the puck just dodged in front of me. Tried to make a glove save, but I wasn't able to as the puck fell down. Long shot from center ice by the Navigators as they put it in. Now there's a lead pass for Burnett, he just couldn't handle it. And another icing call. The puck will come all the way back down into the Fort St. John Huskies end. And, uh, North Peace Navigators have made their changes. It was Briscoe against McMullen. Briscoe won the draw. Now it's Fernet headed into the corner, being worked over by two Navigators in there. Phillips in there banging and crashing. Sp puck bounces out to Spence. He grabs the puck and dumps it down. Navigators have the puck now, trying to break out up to the near side. <clears throat> they gain the line and get a weak shot on Tyler MacArthur. He saw that. And we have a tripping call against number eight. 18, Caden Fernet, Fort St. John Huskies, will now go on the penalty kill. Caden Fernet, two minutes, oh, four minutes. They have on the clock for the trip. So it's 2-1 Fort St. John, 14 seconds left to go in the second period. 
Port St. John wins the draw. They pin the puck up against the boards. Back to the point. Shot didn't get through. Bouncing puck. Joel Bourgeois has the puck and he shoots it down the ice. And that will do it for the second period. So after two periods of play, Fort St. John's leading two to one. Shots are 33 to 17. As we go to the break after the second period, we hope you'll join us for the third period coming up.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the third period of the game between the Fort St. John Huskies and the North Peace Navigators. The Fort St. John is leading the North Peace Navigators 2-1 to one and out shooting them 33-17. to 17. So As we get set for this third period, Fort St. John will be on the penalty kill for another three minutes and 46 seconds. Caden Fernet is in the box. We've had a good good showing by both of these teams. Game's been back and forth and forth and back. Quite a number of icing calls in the game. The Navigators under a little bit of pressure at various times through the period, just icing the puck. So out to take the draw will be Whitcomb. Dean Whitcomb against Dawson Bricko, North Peace Navigators. And we're underway. Whitcomb wins the draw. It's tangled up there by Tyson Fawcett, the Navigators. Back to Spence. And he'll dump the puck down for the Huskies. Back to gather it up. Daniel Noski. He'll shoot the puck down. It bounces all the way back to him. And he skates and gains the blue line. Into the Husky zone now, far side. Daniel Noski gets bumped off the puck. Lost it to Spence, Carter Spence. Into the corner to Whitcomb. Whitcomb battling hard with Theo Cunningham. They're pushing, sticks getting up. Ref right there, he didn't see anything. Pushing and shoving, but a reminder to use your words, boys. In behind the net, Huskies lost the puck to Kevin Shellac. He has the puck. Logan Kimmy was able to dump the puck down. Tigard has the puck, shot it right into the linesman's skates and it doesn't get out. Cunningham now has the puck in the corner. Tyson Fawcett bumps Carter Spence hard. The centering pass ships off and now the Huskies have a two on O. Oh, shorthanded going the other way. Logan Kimmy across. Oh, and Alex Nemo couldn't quite chip the puck in as the Navigators come back. In the Huskies' end, Jared and Lowen picks up the puck and rifles it down the ice. Let the penalty killers get back. So it's Burgess, Nemo, Jared, and Joel Bourgeois, penalty killers for Fort St. John. Across the line come the Navigators, gain the zone. Huskies set up. Navigators dump it in deep, rings it around the boards, and it comes all the way back down. The Navigators player shot it from right in front of the Huskies bench all the way down back into his own end. So the Navigators will come out of their own end now. Keegan Ferguson shoots it in right on Tyler MacArthur. He covers the puck. So we've got a minute 45 seconds left to that penalty to Caden Fernet. 17.59 left in the game. The Huskies so far been able to kill off this penalty kill. So it's Nick Lowen on the draw against Keegan Ferguson. Navigators set up now. Here's Logan Willis. He gets a shot, blocker saved by MacArthur. In the corner, Kindrat trying to work over two Navigators, having marginal success. Centering pass off of Kindrat. Bounces in behind the net. Still working his man over in behind the net. Jared Lowen now chasing the Navigators on the near side in the corner. Niles Nemec bumps his man hard into the boards and gets a fist to the head for as a reward. Huskies clear the puck all the way down the ice. Ryan Noble stops it behind the net. So behind there, the net, number 26, Owen Chamberlain, starts the breakout. He's got the puck over the red line, now into the Husky zone. Takes the puck in, down in deep, and stripped of the puck by Tigert and he rifles the puck all the way down the ice. Navigators set up now, 40 seconds left in the penalty. Number 15, Keegan Ferguson. The Navigator starts away with the puck. Gets across the line. Logan Kemi thinks about chasing it and goes for a change. Some changes to Fort St. John's penalty killers. Here's number 25, Daniel Noski gains the line. Ran into two Huskies, they took him to the ice. Whitcomb now chasing Tulson Fawcett into the net. Oh, he's got his stick in his feet and narrowly got a tripping call. That would have been a tripping call for sure. 
Oscar Berg, uh, Joel Bourgeois runs his man into the boards. Penalty is almost over, and it is over now. Teams are at even strength. Fournette out of the box, grabs the puck, lost it to the Navigators. We'll go back in the Huskies' end. Oscar Burgess now, cross to Jared and Lowen. Jared and Lowen up, he was looking for Winkle, and the pass was behind him, goes all the way down. So the faceoff will be back down in the Fort St. John end. 12 minutes, uh, correction, 15 minutes, 59 seconds left to play in the third period. So the faceoff is to the left of Huskies goaltender Tyler MacArthur. It'll be Whitcomb against Briscoe. Navigators win the draw. They get the puck in deep. Oh, a centering pass out front. The puck, puck popped loose, and Jared and Lowen was there to grab it and save the day. He's pinned in behind the net by Dylan Belrose. They get a shot. Belrose has the puck again. Back to Ashton Peters at the point. Weak shot on Tyler MacArthur. He'll gather the puck for a faceoff. So I hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. If you're watching on the YouTube or around the world, wherever you may be, around the peace country, if you can't be here, shout out to all the fans who came out here tonight. Alex Nemo. Face off for the Huskies. He gets the draw. Marcuso couldn't clear the puck out. There's Kindrat. Oh, he gets it back up to Nemo. Gains across the line. It's a one on four. Waiting for help. Help is here. Kendrat back to the point. Shot. Tip just wide. Theo Cunningham has the puck. Now for the Navigators. He chips it over top of Jared Lowen. To Kristen Paul. Tries to carry the puck in the corner, but it's turned over and the Huskies gather it up. Caught and dropped by Tulson Fawcett. He's chased by two Navigators. Chase into the zone now. Here's Connor Kindrad. He gets the puck out. Marcuso lost it now to Dylan Belrose. He gets a weak shot in net. Tyler MacArthur will cover it up with Theo Cunningham bearing down on him. So of another faceoff to the left of Tyler MacArthur, who's been stellar so far. He's done a great job tonight. Navigators win the draw. Back to the point. Shot goes over top of the goal. Navigators have the puck. Centering pass. Back to Ashton Peters. He dumps the puck in. Spence rubs his man out in the boards. Oh, centering pass by the Navigators. Now here's a pass up to Nemec. Nemec's giving chase. It's gathered up by Caden Spence. He dumps it across to Logan Kimmy, who gains the zone. Loses the puck, but it's not out. Niles Nemec shot. Ooh, a rising shot went over top of the goal. There's Logan Kemi doing some fancy stick work to Niles Nemec. Oh, centering pass, couldn't quite get through. Nemec there, bangs and crashes in front of the net. And Ryan Noble covers it up for a faceoff. So we got 13 minutes and 57 seconds, almost 14 minutes off the play in this game. Third period from Fort St. John. Fort St. John is leading Two to one. So it'll be Alex Nemo against Dawson Briscoe. They're just waiting now for the linesman to make his way over there to drop the puck. Navigators win that draw in behind their own net. Back is Phoenix Dumas gather the puck up. Can't clear it out. Spence pinches for Fort St. John at the line. Gets a shot steered to the corner. Owen Chamberlain passes it up. Cole Isaac tries to get a shot. Hits a shin pad in front. Here's Marcuso all by himself with a break. Nemo giving chase. Breakaway. Shot. And where is the puck? It is sitting on the line. What a great save by Ryan Noble. On a breakaway. And Marcuso's shaking his head as he skates back to the bench. And the sad thing about it is when he closes his eyes tonight, he'll see that one and dream about it. One of the joys of being a hockey player. McMullen won the draw for Fort St. John, shot right on. Noble steers that one to the corner. McMullen in the corner. 
He's being rubbed out. Dawson Phillips lost the puck. The Navigators shoot it down the ice. Chamberlain chases Jared and Lowen. He dumps it all down the ice. And now Fernet back to Teton McMullen. Shot Dawson Phillips at the side of the goal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> back to Jer Jared and Lowen. He takes the shot. Navigators knock it down. Clear it down the ice. And what a chance for Fort St. John. Two chances, a breakaway, and then a scramble in front. Somehow the puck ended up behind Ryan Noble and still stayed out of the net. So, 2-1 game. Fantastic game of hockey here. Navigators win the draw. They've got the puck in their own end. Bourgeois chasing down in behind the net. He gets it to Whitcomb. Whitcomb tries a centering pass. Bounces out in front to Winkle. Still a bouncing puck in front. Navigators gather it up. It's a one on three and oh my goodness. Jared Lowen ramrodded Cole Isaac into the bench and he's getting a penalty for it. The cross check. He sandwiched him into the boards. So the Huskies will go back on the penalty kill. Two minutes to number 23, Jared Lowen. He's six foot one, 170 pounds, and when he comes at you, he's gonna flatten you against the boards. Navigators back to the point, setting up. Trying to get set up, Fort St. John's got the puck. Whitcomb up to Logan Kimmy. it's a two on one shorthanded. Here's Whitcomb in all alone, shot, oh, and Noble just got a piece of it and it chipped over the goal. Whitcomb keeping the puck away from three navigators in behind the goal. He lost it, comes all the way back to break it up. Number 12, Tawson Fawcett gets stood up at the line by Oscar Burgess in behind the goal is Tigert, and he rifles it all the way down the ice. Back in the navigator zone, Phoenix Dumas gathers the puck, waits for the cavalry. Starts away out of his own end. Cross, pipe, cross pass up to Dawson Briscoe. Dodges a check from Oscar Burgess. Tegan McMullen tried to clear the puck out. It hit Navigator player and bounced all the way back down. Phoenix Dumas back in here. Getting ready to quarterback the power play. He shoots it up to Lo Lachlan Willis. Navigators dump it in. Navigators trying to get set up. McMullen. Being worked over by two navigators on the far side. Now they set it up. Cole Ford has the puck. Drops it in, and Jared and Lowen scoops the puck up for the Huskies. Rifles it all the way down the ice. Here's Noble with a quick pass up. Nemec chases the puck down in the Husky zone and gathers it up, shoots it down the ice. Here we get set up. Daniel Noski tried to gain the zone, he couldn't. And here's Niles Nemec trying to carry the puck into the zone. Two seconds left in the Fort St. John penalty. The 21, Cadence Carter Spence gathers the puck up, safely puts it in. Tigert shoots the puck in. Nick Lowen's back there. Being worked over by Tyson Fawcett. Fawcett gets the better of him and shoots the puck down the ice. Here's Owen Chamberlain, shot on MacArthur and it bounces up in the air and he gloves it down. So Fort St. John killed off the shorthanded two minutes and still have the lead two to one at the halfway point of the third period. So here we face off. Nemo will face off against Dylan Belrose. Nemo wins the draw. Lead pass chipped away, no icing as Gary Lowen will get there first. He comes out from the side of the net, takes a shot. Marcuso shoots. The puck is chipped over by Ryan Noble up into the netting. So the faceoff will be down in the navigator zone to the right of Ryan Noble. Looks like it'll be Nemo to take the draw against Belrose. 
Navigators win the draw. Fawcett's got the puck in behind the net, being worked over by Nemo and Marcuso. Navigators try to get the puck out. It's a bouncing puck, and Nemo gathers it up and shoots it down in, almost on Ryan Noble. But back there is Tyson Fawcett to gather the puck. He turns it over to Gary Lowen, and not so mistake, because when Gary has the puck, he can do wonderful things with it. Oskies turn it over, but the Navigators break out. Kindrat chases his man, a cross ice pass to a wide open Theo Cunningham. He'll dump the puck in as Kindrat for the Huskies goes back to gather it up. Kindrat across the centering pass out front. MacArthur makes the save. Here's Gary Lowen now with Marcuso, pass intercepted at the line. Huskies go in and Marcuso just stayed on side. Centering pass to Gary Lowen, didn't quite get through. Marcuso dumps the puck in and goes off for a change. Lowen lost the puck behind the net. Jared Lowen takes the shot up high on Ryan Noble from the point, and he gathers it up. So we'll have a face off as both teams are making changes. Eight minutes, 49 seconds left to play in the third period. Fort St. John out shooting 43 to 24, the North Peace Navigators. So it'll be Whitcomb against Briscoe. Briscoe won the draw. Pass across to Cole Isaac. They dump it in. MacArthur's there, he's got it. He bounces it off the ports to Jared and Lowen in behind. Winkle gets the puck out. Whitcomb chases him down. And Bourgeois just about had the puck, but Winkle's got it again. He's got Bourgeois with him. Over to Bourgeois, shot. Oh, he got the post. He beat Ryan Noble, but he couldn't beat the post. Navigators breaking out. Lead pass too far ahead for Cole Isaac. Jared and Lowen's got it. Correction, Dean Whitcomb's got it. He's bumped his man and then has a little tussle with Dawson Britko after the whistle. Jared and Lowen now in behind the net. Pass up to Winkle. Winkle just spins off a check from the Navigators. Number 21, Phoenix Dumas. Navigators get it out, but it's a bit scrambly right now. Niles Nemec tries to gain the line, but he stood up. Ooh, and Keegan Ferguson just had the puck go off his stick. Otherwise, he'd have been sprung for a breakaway. Sometimes lady luck is all you need. A little bit of luck. So we're just winding down the third period now. Seven minutes to go. It'll be Nick Lowen to take the draw for Fort St. John against Ke Keegan Ferguson. Ferguson wins that draw. Kimmy in there, crashing with Nick Lowen and along the boards, working it up. Kimmy back to the point to Spence, a shot right on. And Ryan Noble gathers that puck. So I hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast from Fort St. John. We're glad you, you're listening in from wherever you may be. And hopefully you'll, you'll join us as the Huskies make their quest for another championship run this year, oh, capping off a great season. Fort St. John now tips the... Uh, correction, Navigators chip the puck into the Fort St. John end. A little bit of rough stuff there in front. Navigators trying to get the puck out. Kimmy now got his stick tangled up in Fawcett. Nick Lowen now with Tigert. He gets a shot, blocker save to Nemec. Shot, hit the side of the goal. Navigators trying to get the puck out. And the pass was behind. Number 20, Chaston Paul for the Navigators. Another icing call, come all the way back down into the Fort St. John end. Uh, correction, into the Navigators end. So it'll be McMullen against Belrose to take the draw. Belrose wins that draw. Dawson Phillips in there. Caden Fernet on the near side, working with the puck. Kendrat waiting back at the point. McMullen in the high slot. McMullen gets the puck and he dumps it in. Phillips now chases it down. The Navigators try their breakout. Here they come. Lead pass to Jason Paul. He gets tangled up. Down goes Lowen. And a shot on Tyler MacArthur. But he saves that without any trouble and gathers it up.
Couple more shots for the Huskies and just over six minutes remaining in this game. It's been back to back, back and forth. An exciting game all around. Navigators win the draw. Cole Isaac with the puck. Spinning and turns in the corner, tries to cut out. Shot right across. MacArthur makes the save and the rebound goes wide. Dawson Briscoe in their corner, trying to get the puck. Shot by Noski goes over top of the goal. There's Jared and Lowen, or correction, Niles Nemec grabs the puck and shoots it down the ice. Daniel Noski now with the puck. He's got it. Burgess runs into his man. Chamberlain. Chamberlain dumps the puck in deep. Jared and Lowen. Across to Oscar Burgess. Burgess has a look. Looking down the ice. Chips pass to Marcuso. Marcuso dumps the puck in. Gary Lowen chases it down. Gary cross out front to Marcuso. Nemo shot it out front. Gary Lowen working his man over in the corner. Puck still on side. Keegan Ferguson lobs the puck down the ice. But it's Jared and Lowen now. He's got the puck. He gets a stick to the head as he tries to gain the zone. Puck goes all the way back down to the navigator zone. Noski gathers it up to Cole Ford. Marcuso there tries to go around Ferguson. Can't. Now it's Ferguson and Ford. Ferguson gets a shot from way outside. MacArthur makes that save without any trouble. It's a bit scrambly here the last few minutes of this game. Not sure if the players are getting players are getting tired. Back-to-back -back games, back-to-back -back nights. So here's Whitcomb for Fort St. John. He loses the draw to but he gets the puck in behind the net. There's Ferguson now for the Navigators. He gets a centering pass. Big slap shot hit some Huskies in front. Whole pile of them. As Bourgeois clears the puck down the ice. Winkle goes after his man, Logan Willis. Navigators get it in. MacArthur back behind his goal. He gives it to McMullen. Uh, correction. Oh! And Navigators score. So Tigert lost the puck in behind the net. The Navigators were able to center it and tie the game. So with four minutes and 12 seconds left, the Huskies were a little slow in getting out of their end. It's a costly turnover. Now they find themselves in a tie game. So it'll be Nick Lowen to face off against Dylan Belrose. Lowen wins the draw. Kendrat now with the puck. He goes up to Niles Nemec. Niles gets some speed, gains the line, cross to Nick Lowen. Drop pass to Jared Lowen. Jared tries to hold the puck in, but he lost it. Here's a two on one. Theo Cunningham, oh, across to Dylan Belrose and the pass just went off his stick. Here's Nils Nemec going in against four navigators. Puck hits the side of the goal and bounces in behind. Bounces around. Cross. Nemo goes off his skate into the corner. Digging for it. Navigators chip the puck down the ice. And it will be an icing call. So the faceoff will be to the right of Ryan Noble, who's made a few stellar saves. And the post helped him out on one, for sure. Alex Nemo pushing his player in the corner. Navigators trying to break out of their own zone. Having some trouble, Belrose has the puck. He chips it high down the ice. Oscar Burgess is there, across to Jared and Lowen. Jared and Lowen looks down the ice and shoots it down for an icing call. So Jared and Lowen had a look and there was no one to pass to so he dumps it down the ice. The pass was behind Huskies player. So the faceoff will be to the left of Tyler MacArthur. 
will be Nemo. He lost the draw. Back to Tyson Fawcett. Banging and crashing. MacArthur tried to cover it up. He's lost the puck. Backhand, backhand shot by Chamberlain. Couldn't get through. Oh, Marcuso blocked a shot. He clears the puck down the ice. Nemo comes back. Navigators slap it hard down the ice. As Tigert's back, he banks the puck off the boards. His intended target was Gary Lowen. Missed him. Puck bounces to Marcuso. Marcuso with Whitcomb. Two Huskies against three Navigators. Driving to the net. And there's a big crash. It was Whitcomb and Marcuso. Still behind the net. And Brady Marcuso is being escorted to the bench by a linesman. But looks like we're going to get some kind of a penalty call here. Marcuso's headed down the tunnel to the dressing room. Not all that happy. It looks like he was driving to the net hard. Ryan Noble looks okay. He fell down. The net got knocked off. The referee's pointing to Coach Alexander at the bench. They're having a discussion. And the Navigators coach is saying it should be five on five. The referees are having a discussion now, huddle amongst themselves, sort things out. Players are milling about as we get set. So Marcuso's off for tonight. He's he's done with two minutes and 13 seconds. So it looks like it'll be five on five hockey for the next two minutes and 13 seconds. Fort St. John out shooting the Navigators 46 to 29. That's Whitcomb against Briscoe. Whitcomb won that draw cleanly. Back to Teeger. He takes the shot. It's tipped just wide by Winkle. Bourgeois has it. Lost it. Came off his stick. Here's Winkle now. Makes a move. Shot right on. Noble kicks that to the corner. Now there's Bourgeois. He's got the puck. Out to Whitcomb. He takes the shot. A stretch saved by Ryan Noble to get his blocker on it. Whitcomb's got it in the corner. Back out to number 21. Spence. He takes a shot. Noble gathers that up cleanly. Both teams will change now. Get some fresh legs out for a minute 43 seconds. It'll be Kindrat and Jared Lowen on the back. Nick Lowen, Logan Kimmy, and Nils Nemec up front for the Fort St. John Huskies. Lowen won the draw. Logan Kimmy's got the puck. In the corner, far side being worked over. In to help Nick Lowen, still in there. Nick Lowen's got the puck. Tries to pass to the defense. Nils Nemec gets the puck. Now he's got the puck almost at the blue line. Gives it to a streaking Connor Kindrat. He lost the puck. Nils Nemec chases it and the Navigators ring it around. Now here's Cunningham. He passes it up. Bellrose will chase it in. But they've blown it as an icing call. So the, the faceoff will be in the navigator's end to the right of Ryan Noble. McMullen won that draw cleanly. Back to the point. Nemo got a shot. Noble had to make a save. In behind the net is Gary Lowen. He works his way out, strong on the strong on the puck, but he turns it over the Navigators. They chip it high and down the ice. Jared and Lowen has it now, being chased by Cunningham. And stumped in, less than a minute to go in the game. In back behind the net. Oh, quick centering pass, and Noble had to be sharp on that one. Centering pass to Tegan McMullen. He shoots it just wide. Navigators having some trouble getting out of their own zone. 
They clear it around and they chip it out. Oscar Burgess has the puck now. He passes it up near side to Nemo. To Lowen, he shots, didn't make through, didn't get through. Into the corner. High and off the glass by the Navigators. They chip it out. Chasten Paul in there with Dylan Belrose working hard. Nemo and Kindrat pushing and shoving. Less than 10 seconds to go. Oh, big hit by Belrose. In behind the net, gathers it up. Cole Isaac. And will be headed for overtime. So after 60 minutes, Fort St. John 2, North Peace Navigators 2. So we hope you'll stay tuned for this exciting overtime coming up. Navigators were looking quite tired at the end of the game, uh, at the final buzzer. Daniel Noski is on his knees in front of the bench. He's so tired. Players are chugging water and getting ready for the five minutes of three on three exciting overtime. All the fans have stayed in the building to watch one of the most exciting parts of hockey is overtime, sudden death overtime. It'll be three on three. Still waiting for the referees and the official to get set for the game. But there's the referee whistle signaling the players to meet at center ice for a faceoff. So it'll be Whitcomb with Winkle up front and Jared Lowen on the back for the Huskies. It'll be Belrose, Noski, and Cunningham for the Navigators. The Navigators have the puck now. Noski has the puck over to Belrose. Noski now, he gains the line, tries to go between two Huskies defenders, can't make it. Whitcomb turns in his own end, has a look across to Jared Lowen, two on one, shot. Noble makes the save, puck goes to Winkle. Winkle chips it in, Navigators have it, steal by Winkle, he's got the puck at the side of the goal, he turns. Goes back deep in the Navigators. Cuts right out front. Oh, and he just shot it wide. Made his way out front. Now Whitcomb has the puck. He's got the puck as he circles around. Oh, and it's chipped off his stick by Dylan Belrose. They battle for it. Whitcomb breaks away. Here he goes. Gains the line. One on two. Little toe drag there. Gets the puck. Back to Jared Lowen. He shot. Ryan Noble makes the save. Navigators have it now as the Huskies change. Daniel Noski with the puck behind his own goal. We're waiting for his helpers. There's Cole Isaac on the near side. Chris Cross with Dawson Briscoe. Chased by Gary Lowen. Briscoe has the puck now. Being chased. Lead pass ahead, knocked off the puck by Alex Nemo. Fantastic work by Alex Nemo. Up to Kendrat. Kendrat starting away with the puck. Skating end to end. He stays onside. Got the puck knocked away from him. Here's Cole Isaac, tries to go to the net. Oh, and MacArthur makes a great save. Bourgeois lays a big hit on Isaac. Ferguson shot, goes off Gary Lowen. Gary's hurt as he skates to the bench. That one stung. Bourgeois goes in after the puck. Tyson Fawcett has it now. Moves at the blue line. Drops the puck. Oh, just got a piece of it in front. Tyler MacArthur. Jared and Lowen 
in battling against Keegan Ferguson. Picked up by Logan Kimmy in behind the Huskies net. He turns and has a look. Being pressured by Cole Ford. He gets the puck to Jared and Lowen. Puck goes in deep behind the Navigator's net. Jared and Lowen has the puck now with Burgess and Kindrat. Sorry, Burgess and Kimmy. Jared and Lowen. His shot scored! Jared and Lowen with a tip in front by Joel Burgess. Bourgeois and the Fort St. John Huskies have won the game. So the final score from Fort St. John, three, North Peace Navigators, two. Fort St. John out shooting 55 to 29. And what an exciting overtime. Fort St. John wins as they celebrate down on the ice. Thanks for joining us, folks. We'll see you next time.